So you're known by the title Christian. That's great, good job. But unless you're known by the king, you ain't getting in. And we're gonna talk about that today. Pay attention, this is one of the most important videos we've ever done. Here we go. What's going on everybody? We got Father's Day coming up and nothing says I love you dad like when the apocalypse happens, I want you to still stay alive and have long-term food storage. Ready Pantry has a 25 year shelf life and these containers I stack up in my closet all the way to the top. It turns me on. Not a lot of things in this world turn me on. Staying alive turns me on. Readypantry.com slash buddy. You're gonna get 10% off plus free shipping. Just use code buddy and I'll put the link below. All right, y'all, we're just gonna go off the cuff a little bit today because there's something I've been noticing about a lot of good people and it's got to stop. It is this. People are detaching from society. Very, very bad. You can't detach. I know you want to. I know it's bad. I know you don't want to hear about it. I know you don't want to participate in the politics going on up there. It's nasty. I understand. Trust me, if it was not for the calling that God's got on my life, I'd be 50 miles from the nearest town somewhere up in Montana or something with some chickens, a coon skin cap, no TV, and shooting on sight at anything that pulled up the driveway. I promise you that. That is very tempting. So here's what I want to ask you. Can you focus for five months? Can you focus until November 5th, until the election at least? Can you do that? Because five months, fellas, that's about what I get out of a new pair of shoes before they become lawn mowing shoes. You know what I'm saying? You know how they say that girl's for the streets? Well, after five months, those shoes are for the grass because that's the only place they belong. They don't look nice enough to take them out in public anymore. Right now, there's tons of people out there in the world who are not only asleep, but they're asleep in the Lord. Very, very bad, if not eternally damaging. Here's what I wanna say about that. You don't like the feelings that you get when you're connected, that's fine, neither do I. By the way, I wanted to take a 12 gauge to the dadgum TV screen while I'm at the mechanic the other day because CNN was on and there was no way to escape it. You're sitting there, I walked outside and called somebody just to escape CNN, I didn't wanna watch it. I get it, it sucks being connected but you gotta be in the know. And you might wanna say, you know, what my Uncle Ray Ray says which is, well everything's rigged, it's pointless and you know, we can't fight against it but I'm gonna say, Right now, because I know the truth about Uncle Ray Ray, he's about five, six, seven, eight, nine beers deep in a lawn chair in a garage at a block party when he said it. He's great for entertainment, for wisdom, not so much. Now there's a verse I wanna read y'all because it's extremely powerful. I don't care if you're sitting on the pot right now watching this video, if you're in your truck on your lunch break or you're locked onto this and you got old Buddy Brown on the big screen TV up in your house, I don't care. Please listen to this verse, Ephesians 5, verses 10 through 16. Wake up, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but wise. Making the most of every day because the days are evil. The Apostle Paul, who wrote Ephesians, y'all, wasn't talking about dead people, by the way. He was talking about people who are spiritually dead. He said, wake up. You ain't paying attention anymore. Listen, I've got two boys. 13 and 14, huge jocks. One's on two teams right now. One is on four teams uh, up to at once. When 7 a.m. comes and he's got to get to the field and I'm literally shaking Sam going, wake up. <laughs> what if he said back to me, you know, I'm just going to go back to sleep, dad. Don't worry, I'm still on the team. Not really, bud. Not really. If someone hit a walk-off home run and you weren't there, you're not part of this. If the people in the stands never saw you, you're not part of this. If you're not even in the lineup, you're not part of this. So I gotta wake you up so that you can get to the field, so you can be on the team, so you can get a big hit and be part of what we're doing here. Now, if you think about this from the spiritual side, this should terrify a whole lot of you, shouldn't it? If you're not fighting, if you're not tuned in, if you're not involved, if you get selfish and say, I'm just gonna go solo, and you leave the team, or you sleep through the big game because you didn't wanna wake up, will you really make it? Will you? I know you think you do, but look, and so I believe it is with the kingdom of God, y'all, because I've got too many friends that live like utter hell every single day, and they say stuff to me like, well, me and the big man upstairs are square. We've squared things away, buddy. Don't worry about me. Quit quit calling and try asking if you could pray for me and all this kind of stuff. Just, I'm good. I'm just going to stay out in the woods and order my pepperoni pizza and, and whatever. I'm good, and I'm happy that you feel like you're good, but I got to ask, are you? Because you know the people right now in this lifetime who have your back. And you also know the people who just wanna act like it, but they aren't really there for you. The Lord is no different. You gotta know him, y'all. And I wanna be wide awake when he comes calling, ready to go, boots on, sword drawn. You know, just because the thought of being left behind because I was asleep, <laughs> that should be absolutely terrifying. We rode at dawn, but you weren't there. It's time to wake up, y'all. 
because there's some really rough people who are going to make it to heaven because they were awake and they were obeying. And there's some really nice ones that are going straight to hell. Stay in the fight. We could be very close to the end. God bless y'all. I want to be right there side by side with you when it goes down. Be good.